Who is a ninja? What does a ninja do? Ninjas are now more popular with foreigners than with Japanese. There is no decrease in the number of people who buy ninja costumes. When you hear the word ninja most people think of Ninja Hattori-kun or Naruto. Dressed in blackish ninja outfits, the main character fights in the night and uses various ninja techniques to carry out his master's orders. Foreigners even visit a ninja experience facility in IGA in Mia Prefecture. Because of this image, many people think that the ninja is a fictionalized version of a comic book or movie, but in fact, the ninja existed. First of all, ninja are backstage workers who live in the dark. They dress in black and creep noiselessly into every nook and cranny. Then he casts a spell and disappears like smoke. It could be said that he is a superhuman with special abilities, but most of the stories are mostly fictionalized parts of fiction made up for fun in later times. The real ninjas look like secret agents, like the CIA in the US today. They could be a subdued version of Mission Impossible starring Tom Cruise. Hmm. It is thought that many ninja worked in Japan, especially during the Warring States period when warlords took power in Japan. The work of the ninja is well known for espionage like spying in modern times, guerrilla warfare, such as sneaking into enemy territory in the dark to surprise the enemy, rearguard actions such as setting fire to enemy camps, assassinations, and looting. Sometimes they lived in enemy territory all the time and lived a normal life, gathering information, passing on false information to the enemy, or even procuring and transporting supplies to their own camps. These also played an important role in warfare. In some cases, these activities may even decide the outcome of a battle rather than a battle on the battlefield. However, these activities were not as glamorous as those of the warriors who engaged in warfare on the battlefield. In other words, they are behind-the-scenes work. And because they are disappearing from darkness to darkness, there are many parts that the real image of a ninja is not clear. Secondly, the ninja's superior physical abilities and secret arts. It is said that the techniques needed for various missions of the ninja, or in other words, the content of ninjutsu, was also wide. Although they did not wield long swords like the samurai, they included many elements, such as specialized martial arts that used shuriken for self-defense and special weapons for assassination, the art of running through wild mountains and rugged terrain, the art of swimming while diving, the art of storytelling to mock people and extract information, the art of horsemanship, the art of diving, and the art of disguise. However, much of the content of these techniques is considered to be secret and not available to the public. Therefore, it stimulated the imagination of future generations, and the ninja's image of using magic-like arts spread. The definition of ninja is also very vague. To begin with, the definition of a ninja is very vague. Depending on the school, the ninja group and the warlord who serve them, they are not necessarily called ninja. The ninja of the famous Ga and Koka schools were the local samurai who had mastered the unique methods of warfare and martial arts of the Iga and Koga regions. Other types of ninja were known as Ranbaku, Tohaku and Breakthrough. These were mercenaries who excelled in guerrilla warfare, but they were equated with bandits. Ninjas are thus a mixture of people from different backgrounds. This is also because the ninja were beings who lived in the background in times of turmoil. Hence, accurate records of the ninja are scarce. However, it can be said that it is precisely because they are shrouded in mystery that the ninja continue to be a mysterious entity.